Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Source, Pearsall signs four-year rookie contract with 49ers. The 49ers have had one less wide receiver to sign after first-round draft pick Ricky Pearsall put pen to paper on his four-year rookie contract on Thursday, a league source told NBC Sports Bay Area. The 49ers' entire eight-player rookie class has now finalized its contracts ahead of the 2024 season. All NFL rookie salaries are fixed based on their draft position, giving Pearsall a total value of $12.5 million total over the four-year contract. The Florida product is set to continue being heavily involved in coach Carl Shanahan's offense after spending a formidable amount of time on the field during organized team activities, OTAs, and mandatory minicamp. With no news on the status of a possible contract extension for Brandon Ayak, Pearsall could continue to receive an increased number of reps on the field, which will help his NFL transition as well as building chemistry with quarterback Brock Purdy. The rookie showed his ability to catch passes from his new quarterback during on-field work before the team was dismissed for their summer break. Pearsall was on the field with Purdy as well as backup quarterbacks Brandon Allen and Josh Dobbs. Until the return of Ayuk, who is under contract through the 2024 season, Pearsall will join Debo Samuel, Jawan Jennings, Ronnie Bell, Chris Conley, Danny Gray, Tay Martin, and rookies Jacob Cowing and Terry K. Owens on the field. Shanahan, who keeps himself out of contract negotiations, would always prefer players attend minicamp, but his opinion of Ayuk has not changed after the receiver's notable absence at the beginning of June. You find out when guys are in those situations, whether they come or not, Shanahan said during minicamp. Some guys come because they want to avoid a fine, and some don't. But regardless, it doesn't change anything when those guys have come. We know what the process is, we know what the business part is, and that's just how they decide how they want to handle this week. The wide receiver contract market is at an all-time high and likely to continue soaring. Ayak could continue to hold out through training camp but won't miss playing during a season that will net him his highest career payday of over $14 million for his fifth season. So while Ayak waits for a new contract, Pearsall has his first NFL deal and is ready to hit the ground running. 49er sign first-round WR Ricky Pearsall, wrap-up draft class signings. The 49ers wrapped up their rookie draft class contracts today, inking their first-round pick, wide receiver Ricky Pearsall, according to Nick Wagoner of ESPN. With their rookie contracts done, San Francisco's front office can shift their focus toward the other priorities of the offseason. Pearsall benefited from a busy first round that featured an unprecedented run of offensive prospects to start the night. Despite being projected by some outlets as a second- or third-round pick, Pearsall found himself getting selected at the back of the first round as the sixth wide receiver off the board and one of seven on day one. Pearsall, an Arizona native, originally opted to attend college at nearby, in-state Arizona State, seeing minimal time in his first two years with the Sun Devils. In his third year with the team, Pearsall became a full-time starter, leading the team in all three receiving categories with 48 receptions, 580 receiving yards, and four touchdowns off of the arm of this year's number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels. Like Daniels, Pearsall hit the transfer portal after 2021 and headed to the SEC, joining the Gators in Gainesville. In his first year with the team, Pearsall led Florida with 661 receiving yards and five touchdown receptions. With a new quarterback in 2023, Pearsall continued to lead the Gators in receiving production with 65 catches for 965 yards. His college offenses also took advantage of his speed on the ground. Over his five years, he added 21 rushes for 253 yards and five rushing touchdowns to his ledger. In San Francisco, Pearsall comes in as the prototypical style of wide receiver that the 49ers love. 
Along with the advantage of having already shared a wide receiver's room with Brandon Ayak and Tempe, Pearsall was utilized in Gainesville in a very similar fashion to the team's other top wideout, Debo Samuel. Pearsall's abilities made him usable all over the field, much in the same way Samuel is currently utilized in San Francisco. While Pearsall may not be ready to step into that role right away, his presence makes a potential Samuel departure in the future much easier to stomach. With Pearsall's contract taken care of, only eight rookie draft picks remain in signed, Chicago's Caleb Williams and Romo Duns, Minnesota's J.J. McCarthy and Dallas Turner, Atlanta's Michael Penix Jr., Cincinnati's Amarius Mims, New York's Malachi Corley, and Arizona's Trey Benson. Patriots reporter addresses trade rumors about 49ers' Brandon Ayuk. For a mailbag published on Thursday, New England Patriots beat reporter Chris Mason of Mass Live addressed ongoing trade rumors regarding unsettled San Francisco 49er star wide receiver Brandon Ayuk. Last month, multiple teams told Jeremy Fowler that the 49ers were seeking a first round draft pick for Ayuk, Mason explained. With the Patriots staring down an obvious rebuild and projected to own a top five selection again next year, New England Executive Vice President of Player Personnel, Elliot Wolf would be foolish to part with that pick in a deal for Ayuk. That's a non starter. While 49ers general manager John Lynch suggested during the spring he planned to hold on to Ayuk through the upcoming season, the 26 year old in the final year of his rookie contract raised eyebrows when he said in a video shared earlier this week that they don't want me back. Multiple league insiders have since refuted such a claim and have also said there's still a chance that the 49ers could get something done with Ayuk's camp before San Francisco opens the regular season with a home game versus the New York Jets on September 9. As for the Patriots, they have a need at wide receiver as rookie Drake may competes with Jacoby Brissett for the club's starting quarterback job. Mason hinted there's a scenario where New England could land and pay Ayuk, depending on all that occurs this summer. If the 49ers get desperate and decide they'd move Ayuk for a second rounder, the Patriots should be ready to pounce, but it still might not be realistic, Mason explained. If the price drops, San Francisco would likely welcome that trade to New England, out of the conference for a high second rounder, but it only becomes realistic if Ayak is willing to sign an extension in Foxborough. Similar to others, Mason also noted how the 49ers have a history of signing players to extensions before seasons get underway. Mason predicted San Francisco will lock Ayak down because the club is in a Super Bowl window and the wideout is too good to part with for a second-round pick. As of Thursday afternoon, DraftKings Sportsbook listed the 49ers as the betting favorites at plus 250 odds to represent the NFC in Super Bowl 59. To compare, that outlet had the Patriots at minus 450 odds to finish the 2024 season at under 6.5 total wins. Such information may show why Mason and others feel the Patriots sacrificing a draft asset to pay for a weapon such as Ayak this summer is unlikely. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Brandon AIYUK? Leave your opinion in the comments.